Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm showcasing products from the latest card kit by Simon Says Stamp. It's all about dandelions and if you don't like kitschy you are going to love this one. It has a, a lovely stamp set along with many many sentiments. It gives you even a tie of a dandelion, a couple of dimensional buttons. You will also get a dandelion themed embossing folder. This is one of the 3D ones that, that give you lots of dimension and the detail. And you will also get lots of pattern papers. Now the moment I browse through the pattern papers I know exactly which ones I want to use. It's a collection of pattern papers that are perfect for backgrounds and I absolutely love their transition. And you see I take out that pattern paper. The moment I see that I know exactly what I want to do with that. I want to use this one as well for today's cards. And finally the first pattern paper that has this lovely design. Today I'm going to share three cards all using pattern paper, all using a dandelion as a focal point and at the same time I'm going to make sure that I use three different card sizes just for variation. So this design here is perfect for a slimline card. You can go with a standard slimline card which is quite big. I'm going with a mini slimline card today. I also cut out three dandelions using the die included in the kit and now on this pattern paper I'm going to stamp the sentiment. In the stamp set there are some sentiments that I absolutely adore. They do have a combination of a handwritten word as well as a typed font and I absolutely love this type of sentiments. So for this first card I'm going with the sentiment that says dreaming of you. I'm going to emboss it with uh, white embossing powder and it's going to blend nicely with the rest of the design. I am keeping everything white and blue. All the cards that I'm making today are very quick and simple to recreate. After all you don't always have to overthink a card. You can find beauty in simplicity and a dandelion as a focal point I think adds an elegant touch on a card design. Now, as I mentioned before, I did cut out the dandelion three times and I glued one on top of the other. So my focal point does have lots of dimension, it is sturdy and it looks as if it is cut out of chipboard. At the back I'm adding a tiny piece of foam tape and at the stem I'm going to add some glue so that it lifts from the paper and it adds lots of dimension. I am sticking it down exactly where that other dandelion was printed and all I actually did was enhancing that same design just with dimension. There are a couple hearts included in the stamp set that you can white emboss if you like to enhance that design. Instead I'm going to use a die that I had in my stash to cut out tiny little hearts out of white cardstock. Again I'm not introducing any new color, I'm staying with blues and whites and I'm going to spread out those tiny little hearts along the design. It would make a great miss you card, thinking of you card or even sympathy card. If you want you can even add some gems along the design. Here I'm using just clear ones. And here is a close up look on the first card for today. Again this is a slimline card that's three and a quarter by six and a quarter. I did use the mini slimline rectangle dies to cut out the panels just because they make my life easy and I don't have to measure but you can always use your paper trimmer to cut them out. For my second card I will be using this lovely pattern paper. I'm going to place one of those rectangle dies that have some stitching all around and I'm going to make sure that the panel I will cut out will have oranges, pinks as well as purple at the top. Now I will be working with one of the dandelion stamps from the stamp set. I did go with the Obsidian Pigment Ink by Altenew. This is an ink that uh, takes quite some time to dry but at the same time it gives a beautiful solid impression. I'm also going to use the Tiny Heart from the stamp set and again by using the same Obsidian Pigment Ink I'm going to stamp three hearts to enhance my design. I like how black stands out against that background. It looks as if the sun is setting and that's exactly the um, look that I was going for. Now just because this is pigment ink it takes a while to dry. Make sure that you don't touch it or you will end up with smudges. I am going to apply on top clear embossing powder. This is going to stick nicely since the ink is still wet. And I'm going to heat set it. 
There are two benefits with this technique. First of all, I don't have to wait for the ink to dry and I don't uh, risk having smudges and at the same time I end up having shiny dandelions. Again, a very quick and simple design. Another way to get something similar is to stamp with Versamark ink and apply black embossing powder. However, I tend to avoid it because with this method you end up having a cleaner look. With foam tape I'm sticking that on top of a black panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So here I'm going with a standard A2 card size. I'm also going to stick down one of the sentiments included in the kit. Again, I went with that beautiful design and it says summer dreaming. And all I have to do now is to stick this panel on top of a standard pre-folded card. I'm going to leave it as it is, but I will show you some extra ideas if you want to enhance it a little bit more and add something extra. You can add some clear gems at the center of the dantillions if you like. You can even use one of the buttons that are included in the kit. There are a couple of them that came with the kit. There is a loop at the back that you need to cut out, probably with your snips or your uh, Tim Holtz scissors. I'm sure the Tim Holtz scissors are going to do the trick as it is just plastic. But I'm going to leave it as it is. Here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. So I did create one mini slipknot card. This is a standard card. And let's make a square one now. I'm going for a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square card. That's why I'm cutting out this pattern paper into being three and three quarters by three and three quarters. This way I will end up having some border all around. Now again, my focal point is going to be a dantillion. I did cut it out once from white cardstock and a couple more times from vellum. Cutting out the dantillion from vellum is going to give it that airy look. It's going to look even lighter and uh, I think it really adds to the look. In any case, for this focal point, I'm going for dimensions. So I'm going to stack up those dantillions one on top of the other. And that's why I did that dimension to them using that ball tip tool. It looks so pretty and delicate in real life. And again, I'm going for a very simple design. I do have all the elements here. I did stamp my sentiment again from the same stamp set. I'm going to use glitter cardstock, silver glitter cardstock to mat the sentiment. So I end up having two very thin strips of silver at the top and at the bottom. I did use foam tape for all the layers, both the pattern paper and the sentiment. And now I'm going to stick on top my little dantillion. I like the clean and simple look of this design. If you want to, however, you can add even more dantillions or you can make something similar by stamping the dantillions that are in the stamp set and embossing them with white embossing powder. You can add at the center the button if you want to. This would fit nicely with the design. But again, I'm not going to use that. I will just stick at the center a tiny little dot that I cut out using that silver glitter cardstock. And that finishes the third card for today. Here are all the three cards that I made using a dantillion as a focal point and showcasing products from the latest card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And now for the giveaway, if you want to win this card kit, make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment there. If you're watching on YouTube, you will find the link to my blog down below in the description area, along with a list of the supplies used for these cards. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you'll all have a lovely day.